Welcome back to Moortown today and in Moortown today we have been doing woody things. Lots of roof woods. We like roof woods. So today we've put roof woods everywhere. Just in time because if you look in the distance there that is rain. And if you can't see the weather moving that means it's coming towards you. So if you ever see a tornado and it's not moving run. The tea because the rain is coming. So brand new tarpaulin about to go on here now. And uh, we'll tarp the entire place up. And tomorrow we rip this one off and remove the back end of the roof. Uh, and then we'll build our dormer. A big ass dormer coming out of the back of here. It's uh, bird cage day tomorrow. I love bird cage day. Now we've got uh, Eddie from right, uh, Rhino Roofing working with at the minute and he's never actually built a dorm so after tomorrow he's going to be an expert but uh, big ass dorm coming out of here, 8 metres long uh, I think we are putting uh, 7 by 3 roof timbers in here the span's a little bit big and then uh, I'm not happy with the altitude of the steel there because the architects like to play with the measurement and it leaves me fudging with my, I've got my, uh, my inch breathe, my three inch furring and I've got my plywood and blah 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 and it puts me quite a way up on top of the steel there but uh, we have to sort of hide all that underneath the ridge tile I don't actually like to do that, I like to have at least 150 mil upstand but uh, we're going to end up with minimal upstand hidden away underneath the uh, ridge tile there. Probably be about two inch underneath the ridge tile. We'll have to call an upstand with the rubber there. But uh, as you can see, the place is still battered inside. A bit more floor to going up to this bit of, bit of old timber there. And then staircase man's going to come and measure the staircase. And uh, we'll be standing down off this job for maybe 10 days once the dorm was built. Because I've got to go and shrink one in, in Beeston. Because uh, we built it five years ago and uh, the council have pulled how big it is. Not allowed to have it that big, so we're going to have to reduce it by three metres. Now, today, for well, the first day that it's been nippy on the morning, I've now got my winter heart out. And this heart was needed for me by a guy in America they selected the wool so it's slightly water, waterproof handle the British climate it's a lovely art I love it see you later